there's a lot of mechanics. How do you forecast requirements? How do you schedule an inventory? How do you set your safety stock levels? How do you set your order quantity levels? To understand how spreadsheet works, understand how databases work, uh, the difference between the two and how they sort of work together. Excel skills are very important. We take a lot of information and you need to be able to make business decisions uh, using that information. So you got to be a problem solver. Really what distinguishes one person from another is being able to analyze that data and say, hey, this is what I see and here's where I see a solution. Microsoft Office skills are used so universally across businesses today, especially Excel or analytical skills. There's a lot of work with Excel, a lot of work with analytical skills, but I think one of the most important assets is just to be an effective communicator. Getting on the phone and talking to people face-to-face -face is often a lost art. When you're dealing with a global supply base, you're really dealing with different cultures. At times you're going to be in conflict with your supply base and you have to be strong-willed enough to stand up to what you believe is right for your company. But you need to be fair as well and objective. Critical thinker and initiative, to me those are the two biggest things. You get a lot of people that they may do what they are asked to do at a real good level, but it's that person that takes an initiative to go outside of that that I really look for. Creativity, problem solving, open-mindedness, the ability to communicate. You really have to have a lot of good people skills. You need to be able to communicate well. And lastly, I also look for somebody that's a good, a good problem solver. It's communicating those analytical skills that you have and then working hard with a positive attitude. I definitely think that the most important thing for students to know is to have a positive attitude. Communication skills are important. You have to be able to work with people. And today, we work in a lot of high-performance teams where the team is what makes the decisions. You know, everybody's got different personalities, but at the end of the day, you need to mesh all of those personalities together in order to succeed. People who love supply chain like I do, they have dynamic personalities, they enjoy working with people. You have to work in groups, you have to be an active listener. So critical thinking skills are really important. How do you solve a problem? How do you get to be invited to be part of the team is if you're a person that can get the answer to yes. Can you accept feedback when you're not in the right? Can you embrace that feedback and can you move forward? I think the skills that you learn in forecasting and planning, capacity planning, master planning, sales and operations planning, sourcing, procurement, distribution, logistics, uh, export, import. I mean, these are skills that can be transferred to any type of industry and uh, I think they're all valuable. We look for leadership skills, we look for communication skills, analytic skills, and also we want them to have a global sense of business. You have to know how to communicate with your peers, but you also need to know how to communicate with upper level management. And in my role, I have to know how to communicate with our external customer. To be able to roll their sleeves up and dive into information and data, and then be able to take that information and communicate it in a very meaningful way. People who work very well on teams who can collaborate and who can influence and we also look for leaders, people who can come in and take on a leadership role um, very quickly. Associates who can come in, who can learn supply chain, and who can create that fresh perspective, who come in with leadership skills, with collaboration, with analytics. It's critical that there's collaboration and, and communication uh, within, that, within that supply chain in order for it to be effective. It has the ability to work with people who come into work excited every day. You, you can see the enthusiasm. I, you know, I look for work habits. And, and from that, usually you get someone who's kind of innovative. You have to be extremely good at multitasking. It's uh, really a great feeling when you can solve a problem for a manufacturing plant whose line is going to go down at any second. And because you've made a phone call and you pushed it extra little bit, you've gotten the parts in. I guess I'm looking for someone who wants a career and not a job.